So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I know it's been, uh, what, like three or four days since I put a video out? I, I know, that's why I put a post out saying I was taking a little bit of a break, just a little one, as it's Christmas time. You know, that's really the, uh, the only reason. Friends, family, all the goodness. So... Anyway, we're back to it. So we're going to continue to bash through. Um, so, we'll, yeah, we'll have a video, obviously, probably tomorrow. Hopefully Christmas Day for you guys to, to watch if you would like. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to sit down. We're going to bash through some matches. So today we have some good news, folks, as well. I have found a, a workaround. Uh, appreciate a guy over on Twitter who sent me this. Can he remember his name? I will actually mention his name because it's always nice. To give a shout out if you guys do help uh gaming photos and videos realism mode over on twitter there we go uh he sent me the um well he didn't send me it but he sent me a link to the kit fonts that's what we're talking about taking ages to get to my point but we care we're talking about kit fonts so you won't be able to see them right now but we should have the premier league fonts in there now it's not going to change for like the champions league but it's better than seeing the default boring fonts so there you go. We've got our Premier League fonts, and uh, yeah, that's all nice and tasty. So, well, let's have a look at what is going on. Dre Gomez has uh, now become a playmaker. Okay, bit of playmaker action for him. And there's a look at the schedule. A couple of friendlies, the FA Cup round two. Champions League against Inter. That's going to be a big match as well. Um, so... Yeah, one thing I do actually want to do real quickly, uh, skill training. I don't think I'm doing this on anyone. So who do we want to put this on? Enables players to perform better under pressure and fatigue. It could be useful for Tar. Uh, Captain C, not really worried about that one. Interception, marking. Anyone can do the knuckle shot? Probably not. No, we've got no requirements. All right, I'm going to actually give that one to Tar. Let's do Tar. Tar it on because I think that's a pretty important attribute to have. And uh, if you play better under fatigue, then why not? All right, so today's match, this is what we're looking at, taking on Bournemouth, who are lying about eighth position. So Olsen's going to come back into the mix. I have realized I have an obscene amount of defend defenders for some reason. I don't know why. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got eleven defenders on the team. I know I don't have very many forwards, but you know, I really want to grow Luigi and see if we can just get him up there. Uh, but we are taking on the FA Cup after this, so he's going to get more playing time. But anyway, we're going to go for Aaron's because he's up for it. Um, Tar, Mina, Dinya, Alan, David, James is buzzing. Richarlison on the left, or should we put him on the right? We'll put him on the uh, left. And then Sebastian Vila on the right. Calvert-Lewin up top. So there we go, folks. That's what we're looking at. That's the lineup. Hope you guys do enjoy it. We are going to be playing a 17-minute match from now on. I've pretty much set Cider down to 17 minutes. I know you can't change it in the settings here, but it will be 17 minutes. So we should get a reasonable amount of chances. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's dive into this. Which kit do we want to choose? I know people were mentioning that we can't use this kit because Liverpool have like a red kit. So what? I mean, you know, number one, it's the third kit. Man United have a white and black one, and Leeds wear white, you know? It's not like Everton are wearing, uh, you know, red as the home kit. It's it's a third kit, folks, so yeah, it's fine. All right, so there we go. There's the kits, there's the players, there's the lineup. I'll see you in the game. So here we are, Vitality Stadium. It is a very foggy, very misty type of day. Um, I've got some sort of... You know, the lad on Twitter has been sending me some updated stadiums with sort of better, better fog, better, better look of England. Because we know England it generally is not, you know, the most uh, sunny of places. There's definitely some foggy and misty days. But yeah, lovely stadium looks beautiful. Can we do the business uh, against Bournemouth? I've had a couple of days off, so it's going to be about trying to find the groove here, not get too carried away. Calvert-Lewin up top today. No sign of uh, the Italian Luigi, but he is on the bench. But away we go. And ultimately, folks, you know, we'll see how this season plays out because if it becomes too easy... Referee. Referee. It's not even a foul. This is something they need to fix for PES 2022. Stuff like that. What's the matter with that? Yeah, he may have clotheslined him, but he got the ball. 
but anyway if this season you know we do dominate matches too easy possession wise and stuff yeah maybe next season folks season number three we may crank it up to legend as long as I can keep the goalies respectable uh, legend will be a very 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 tough season because the AI will play a lot smarter but that's a long way away anyway today the Bournemouth is the opposition and they're starting this match off uh, well extremely well here what a save by Olsen what a save he's back in goal for the first time in a few matches but this is nice play by Bournemouth no wonder they're eighth in the table playing this type of football and Olsen just about did enough so 10 minutes in and right now it's uh, it's all the home side with most of the possession Tar comes across misses it Mina wins the header James gets there first here is uh, Vila give it back towards him nicely done now we need players to get forward because Sebastian's got absolutely no support good feet by him flicks it out wide lovely play Aaron's now certainly got some players in there looking for the likes of Calvert Lewin oh Calvert you sexy animal what a finish one break one goal that's how you counter folks bang Absolutely. I knew that was in as soon as we got the aiming perfection you just saw the ball nestling into that far corner it really is a fantastic header Vila quality that's what we've been missing from him this start of the season great ball in by Aaron's and look at that header I mean you talk about head the ball back across the face that's it to an absolute tee he rose well got up above the defenders and that will do we'll just start again with uh, the big man of Mina who scored the other day didn't he scored the other day was it against Arsenal the big man from the corner it was a fantastic header as well I mean no wonder his heading stats are so good well, here is Dinya let's go all the way around to Aaron's Vila a little bit of trickery come on Vila what you got I love to twist with him. You, you, you love some twist and shout. James. Shocking touch there by the Colombian. But Alan says, it's all right, James, I've got your back. And the ball's been floated over the top. And sometimes those balls, you know, will cause the defenders and keepers some problems. Miscommunication at the back and suddenly there's a chance. And here is Billing at the line. Stanilas. Tossed that out wide Diego Rico he's had a lot of the ball so far Tussin's up well done Olsen it was it was one of those efforts but it was comfortable now a chance to break it David back towards it David once again does find Hammers flicks it on towards Aarons feeds it off again Vila Aarons just a little bit of patience is key just got to try and open up Bournemouth not with a pass like that Alan not with a pass like that son but Mina should uh, should do enough and all oh, ref will take the foul there ref we will thank you and I hope you guys are having a, a fantastic holiday season Merry Christmas if you celebrate it if you don't then just happy holidays for you not quite the same as we've seen over the years with uh, the pandemic knocking about but we have to deal with what we can all right Vila go on son take him on too much too much knew exactly what was going to happen there you can't dribble if you're not going to be able to dribble all right Tassin getting a lot of the ball Billing Diego Rico now that's a good ball up the line now Sebastian's going to have to try and get back with him luckily he did the ball up the line and uh, well done Vila well done son good play good play and we are going to try and swing this round the other way to Richarlison lovely touch inside there towards him David, nice bit of hold up play by him Dinya run straight into trouble though we are playing at a little bit of a higher line today trying that out just to try and stop them from playing too much but to be fair Bournemouth have started this game off relatively well, I mean we've scored a goal I don't know if we deserved it because we haven't done a whole lot well done Calvert, the referee will take the free kick but no no, it's not having any of that one he was going to lay it the other way decided against it half an hour played here at the Vitality Stadium it is one goal to nil but Bournemouth are very much dominating the match right now 
Chance here, fed up the line, and that's going to be all day for Olsen, who can uh, get this rolling very, very quickly towards Richarlison. Now, the thing is, we're not playing super attacking. Earth is that? What on earth is that? And this is the thing, you guys are going to see all these terrible passes because I'm only human after all. And sometimes uh, we'll let that roll out for a goal kick. It happens, it happens. Well, after this match, Everton are heading into, uh, well, a couple of international games, first of all. Get some friendlies out of the way. But hang on a minute, because Alan's stolen this, and it's a dangerous place to go ahead and lose it. Oh, Calvert-Lewin. Nearly pulled a hamstring there, trying to keep that one on. Now, is he offside? He isn't. Calvert, lovely turn, Calvert-Lewin. Has he got the strength? No, he hasn't. Bournemouth bring it forward. I mean, I won't be cranking up to legend if Bournemouth keep playing this way because they've certainly caused me some, some problems this half. And uh, we very well could concede here, but we haven't. Well done, Olsen, who's pulled off some blinders as always. Well done, Richarlison, just about got there. Now David has seen the run of Villa. If he can keep this on, it's a great pass. He can keep it on. Can he beat his man? Just about floats it towards the back post. Oh, Calvert-Lewin went for the spectacular. Richarlison's there, going to swing this back in towards the mix. James tries to win the header. Did win the header. Mina, what on earth's happened there? A little bit of Tweedledee, Tweedledum action. Allen starts again with Tar. We are into the uh, final three minutes here. Allen. There's Vila. Allen once again. David flicks it on. Dinya. Richarlison wants it, does find him. Little scoop ball over the top. Dinya floats one. Oh my word! The ball. Sebastian was he was ready to pounce. Some good defending just about did it for them. And it looks like this is going to finish 1-0 at half time, but Bournemouth have been unlucky. They certainly have caused a few problems down the other end of the field, but there is your half time whistle. I don't know if we make changes or just leave it at this point, but we have to keep playing uh, with a little bit of more momentum. So we are going to leave it. Same formation, same lineup for the second half. Tusson's come off and King's come on. Interesting change there. I thought Tusson was doing a decent job up top for Bournemouth, but the managers thought otherwise, and he has taken him off. And, and we're going to try and play a little bit more counter-attack in this half, not with a pass like that again. Looking for Hammers there, and it's just dreadful. As you can tell, we are a little bit rusty after not playing this game for a couple of days. Well, that's fine, we'll get back into the groove. Here is King. Let's find Brooks. Looking to play up the line. Dinya's completely missed it. Kings get past the first one. Aarons gets it away. There's a spectacular effort and a brilliant save by Olsen. Well, that was a, a ridiculous effort to try and score from there, but it's a corner. Cook to swing this one in, looking for... Uh, Oh, a red shirt, it's cleared away. Billing does get there, gets it back again. Really good play this by Bournemouth. Brooks lays it back, there's an effort, and Olsen again. Oh my goodness me, this is just holding on for dear life. I just can't get any rhythm going right now, we're all over the place. And To be fair, they're playing well. Olsen's playing well, he needs to keep playing well. Well, you're going to make plenty of mistakes on Manuel, I'll tell you that much. It's, it's, it's a learning curve, but one thing I have learned on Manuel is, is to defend a little bit better and, and try not to, to chase the ball. It, it's not a great thing to do and ultimately control defenders, control the players. If you need to do a little bit of team pressing, then fine, but don't go too gung-ho because it only takes a quick give and go, honestly, and uh, suddenly there's a huge gap, there's a huge hole players to find all right David Dinya no, we can't go that way David again towards Allen he's at a cross come on David hold it up well done no 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 David no no looking for Hammers there please Amina's missed it here the Tars not having any of it Brooks now this is where they can step it up. Lerma, Stanilas, plays it through. Well done, Mina. Different class, son. Just get that one out, Aaron. Just get it out. It's going to be a very scrappy game, this. We are, we're we going to be holding on to a 1-0. I could play more attacking, but 
I'm a little bit concerned about it. Because Bournemouth have really dominated possession this match. And every time we get the ball, we do silly things with it. Brooks. Right, I mean, are you going to have to go back? Get back in position now, son. No, he's not going to get back in position, but Richarlison is there. Ball's delivered towards the back post. And once again, Olsen. <sighs> Doing what Olsen does often. All right, well, we've made a change. Uh, I've had to bring on Andre Gomez. Uh, James is going to push out a little bit wider, but I need a little bit more in the middle right now as the ball is floated in. Comes back towards the edge of the box. And Sebastian Villa sort of uh, flicked his man in the face there, but the referee said, who cares? Let's play on. Now Aarons has got a lot of green ahead of him. Question is, which way does he go? Feeds it across, Sebastian. Good hold-up play. He's done well there just to keep the ball, to be honest. He had nothing else on. Dinya, let's try and step this up a, a little bit now. James, also going to play a little bit more central than the way we were playing. Great play by Andre, but a fantastic challenge to win it back. Now here comes Keane. Watch the run out wide. The ball is swung all the way out the other way, and that'll do nicely into the arms there of Olsen. There's still a lot of time in this game. The clock is not moving at all. All right, Alan. Fight Aaron's to get forward. Now, David's got some space. Oh, he had a little bit of room there, David. I don't know, Bournemouth have been a, they've been a tough team to break down. I think we got just very fortunate with that header. I mean, it wasn't fortune, fortune. It was a good finish. But it wasn't an easy finish. But other than that, we, we have not really created. Aaron's. A little bit better now with possession. Keep going, Aaron's. Keep going, son. You've got the ball. Little flick back. Sebastian. Get that one on the edge of the box. David. Quick turns needed. Skips past his man. Oh, David. It's, it's too much. It's too much. It's the final ball of just getting some movement. I mean, James is going to be staying forward. He's not going to come back a whole lot. We don't need him to. Right, go on, Dinya. You might as well go in loan, son. You might as well do this yourself. If no one wants to close you down, we'll take the corner. I'll take that all day. Well, there's a good view for you. Nice scoreboard in the way. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Doesn't matter because we are going for this man. Mina, the big tank towards the back post. They do float it in towards him. He wins the header and Tar could have had his first Premier League goal. Oh, how close was that? All right, our last two changes. Let's bring on Luigi and Mbabu. Get the long-haired lads with the hairbands on. Diego Rico, who saw uh, definitely a lot more of the ball in the first half. He hasn't seen too much of it here in the second. Cook. Kabori. Cook again. Fed up the line. Oh, this is good play here. And now it's a little bit concerning. Oh, Olsen has just... Every time, every time. I mean, if they could finish better, you know, it would help them. But <laughs> they aren't. Hamis, there you go. That's the ball. Now, if we got a chance to score, it will be definitely from uh, this kind of ball. Oh, Luigi had a chance. Some dodgy, dodgy goalkeeping there. Vila gets there first. He's gone for some trickery. I don't know why he did that. I thought he was going to do a double touch. Decided, no, we're going to do some other move. And uh, we are into the final minute here. How much stoppage time to play? Only one minute. We get the ball, we get it out. It's as simple as that. Memphan swings it round. Cook. Looks to play it the other way. Hamis needs to get back quickly here. Oh, well, and Babu needs to come across one or the other. It is floated towards the back post. David flicks it away. Iwobi. Get it out. That should be comfortable. And we'll let Olsen take claim of that one. Absolutely fantastic. And somehow, somehow, we have come away with a 1-0 win. I reckon they had, what, maybe 10, 11 attempts to our two. <laughs> somehow we've won that. I don't know how. Stolen it. Although we didn't steal it because it wasn't late. Look at that. Well, eight attempts to three. Didn't deserve it, but we'll take it. Man of the match will be the goal scorer. 
So, the other results. Leeds beat West Ham, Brighton beat Fulham, Watford beating Leicester City. That's a good result. Aston Villa nil, Wolves nil. Man United beat Newcastle, Norwich lost to Southampton, Liverpool smashed Chelsea, Tottenham beat Arsenal, and Man City dropping points against Crystal Palace. So that does mean we move into second place. Uh, Man City down to third, Liverpool up to fourth, Chelsea down to fifth. Man United, top of the table, folks. Top of the table. Look at that. We've only conceded one goal. We've only scored seven. Uh, bottom of the table, West Ham and Norwich still don't have a point, And Norwich still haven't scored. Hmm. All right, so we're going to advance into this international friendly game, uh, which is simply going to be uh, a sim match. That's what we're going to do here. So let's just quickly put in some players that are up for it. Uh, I don't think Chiellini would play as uh, a left winger, if I'm being honest. Well, let's put him as a right back. Well, let's stick this guy as a right back. There you go. Fantastic. Tonali's up for it, so we'll put him in there. Uh, have we got any perks for a goalie? Well, Donnarumma's in goal. Well, if we put him in goal, I think that might help. No? It doesn't help either. So no one gets a boost with the old team spirit. Rubbish. All right, I think we'll just go for that. To be honest, that'll do. There's Germany. Yeah, probably won't win this one, but we will go ahead and skip it. What do you think? 2-1, we win. Ah, close. 1-1. One, one. All right, not bad. Hopefully Luigi scored. Probably didn't. And uh, let's move in now to the Serbian match. Let's see who's up for this one. Luigi's on red. Fantastic. Don't care. I'm still going to play him. No, we'll play Belletti. If he's not up for it, we won't play him. Uh, there we go. Belotti starts. Players are down in Signa. He can come back into the mix. And uh, Di Lorenzo there. All right. Good stuff. Let's skip that one. What do we win? 3-0? Not even close. See, Luigi doesn't play and we lose. Poor, lads. Poor. All right. Now we're going to dive into some FA Cup action, folks. So we're going to do certainly some rotation, I think, on this one. And hopefully Luigi's fit and ready to roll. Uh, as we do have squad rotation, chapter one. We've got a tough schedule, so I think we should give Kulisevsky some playing time and uh, give some of the other players a rest. He needs the match experience. Yeah, I definitely will play Kulisevsky. He's a very good player. And we've already seen what the guy is capable of. And there we have it. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. FA Cup intro. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and sort this line out for you guys or line up out for you guys. Mm, I'm not really liking it today. Uh, Calvert Lewin's down as well. Blimey. All right. Uh, let's make some changes. All right. Let's go for this, folks. A couple of changes for this one. Uh, obviously, Olsen will start again. Uh, we're going to go for Tar and Keane at the back today. Aaron's and Dinya. I st I st look, I know we're playing QPR, right? So you wouldn't expect the best, hardest challenge here, but still, we want to make sure we advance at least into the next round. Uh, so Barrios comes in today with Andre Gomez and James, and we're going to start Kulusevski, Saar, and Luigi Jr. So we're going to rest the likes of Richarlison and Villa. Uh, well, a few players are down anyway. Mina's down and Babu's down. Cover Lewin's down. So I'm going to keep Allen on the bench just because in case we need him later. But I think this should be okay. I mean, we have a 95 spirit, but I'm not really feeling it, if I'm being honest with you. The, the team feels... I don't know. They feel up and down at times. Sometimes they play better than others, and sometimes the game feels more responsive than others. I mean, I will say that... the. I think the PS5 generally feels a little bit more responsive than on PC, but it also might be because I'm recording uh, at the same time. So, all right, that'll do. We're giving those kits for today. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's dive into some FA Cup action. All right, well, uh, I don't know where the scoreboard's gone for the FA Cup. Uh, I'm going to have to fix that, so we'll get that sorted. If we do advance through to the third round but we've got to make sure we can do the business today folks taking on the Queen's Park Rangers so yeah I mean there's the look of the fonts as you can see it's the proper Premier League one even though we're in the FA Cup but you know what I'm saying you get the gist of it all right let's just dive into the action here we have to play far better uh, than we did in the last match but yeah unfortunately they haven't got the right scoreboards for this one but that's all right we'll get it addressed as I say for the next one 
that's the thing with mods, folks. It's, I mean, it's complicated. It's complicated. Some things work and some things don't. Anyway, Kulisevsky now is, uh, well, looking to get this on the old left foot and try to bend it, but not quite. I mean, I would expect some goals today from us. You know, we, we need to come out buzzing for this one, especially after that Bournemouth performance. It was, it was a shambles. It really was. I mean, we won. Don't get me wrong. Oh, hang on a minute. Here's a chance for QPR. Tar just did enough and it's a goal kick. Ball lays it off. Carroll. Good looking pass. Good play this by QPR. Manning once again. Kulisevsky does really well. Well done, mate. I know someone said he's from Macedonia or something. He's actually plays for the Swedish national team. So I'm going to call him Swedish because he is technically both. Bit of half and half action. Anyway, here is a chance here for Hammers. Oh! How close was this? Don't know how close this was. A little bit annoyed I don't have the scoreboards for this. Pain in the backside, but it's one match. We'll be fine. How close was that? Don't know, because the replays are terrible. Well, there's no Mina, but there's certainly uh, this guy called Tar waiting for the ball. But unfortunately, Tar was, I don't know, half asleep there. Here is Dinyala. Feeds it off. Andre Gomez back towards Dinya. Oh, Dinya. Just, just didn't have those long Peter Crouch legs. But he's now way out of position, and that's going to be a bit of a problem because Keane's going to have to come across here, and he's been completely skinned. And uh, the ball is delivered in, but it's an absolutely atrocious pass. And Olsen will launch it out first time towards Kulisevsky. Ahrens. Hammers. Luigi wants it in the corner. And Luigi's there. Oh, Luigi, keep going, son. Keep working. You're going to get that chance. You just have to do the business when he gets the chance. Barrios. Kulisevsky now. Tried to cut inside, didn't he? And Kulisevsky will do that often. He's, yeah, he's going to be playing out wide, but he will cut in from time to time when he needs to to try and get the ball. Nice pass there. Carroll flicks it on. Well done, Keane. Not going to take any risks for that one. Saying that, that's a terrible pass by Dinya. We are not having the easiest of times here, are we? Once again, it's one of these matches. Oh. Wow. Even Kulisevsky is surprised. That, I've never seen a more pure finish than that from Bone. That's ridiculous. Look at the power he got on this. It's an absolute rocket. I mean, as soon as he hit that, they took the net off. Unbelievable. There's no way Olsen's saving that one. The best goal in the world isn't keeping this one out of the back of the net. Just bang. As soon as he smashes it, it's in. That's a finish. And now we have problems. Well, there's a slight alteration in the formation. It looks like uh, Everton will be going for a 4-3-3 now. Uh, they need to go for it. They need to push forward because for the start they've had in the Premier League and where they're lying in the table, this is not the performance you would have expected. You certainly would have expected better. Anyway, here is Saar now. He's got a chance to try and use the strength, but KK had other ideas. Andre Gomez now looking for Saar, who does get there first. Feeds it back. Denya floats one high, Luigi. Oh, come on, Luigi, man. I'm, I'm buzzing for this guy to score a goal. We're going to get off our chair and celebrate if he does. It's about time he put one in the net. The playing's a centre forward. You've got to do the business. Aaron's. It's not happening, is it? QPR, though. I mean, credit to them. They've come here with a game plan and uh, they've stuck to it. Right now, the ball is hoifed clear. And uh, they can't keep it off. Even Hammers can't do anything. I, I just don't know what's going on with the boys today. They're, they're half asleep. Anyway, we've got a chance here. Barrios, that's the ball. Oh, Luigi, Luigi. So close. Well done, Tar. Hammers now. Better ball. Aaron's get in the box, lads. Get in the box. How's the delivery? Oh, Luigi wanted the touch. Final chance early of the half here for us to try and grab an equaliser. Hamez feeds it across. Gomez, too much dribbling. And if we're going to dribble, then you've got to dribble past the player. But 
I don't know, we've got to recoup here, folks. It's a disaster, and, and we just... I don't know, the team feels off. They just feel off. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, Luigi was nipping there. It's Carroll. Bonet scored an absolute belter of a finish, and that's a lovely pass, and Olsen was going to come out, then he decided to stay, fed across the face, and the Toffees get away with it. But just for a brief moment, as the ball's fired in once again, and now Tar can bring it forward. Flicks it over the top towards Hamis. Lovely control. Kulisevsky looking for Luigi once again. The passing today is dreadful. We need a little bit of luck here. We need some sort of good fortune to get us back in this game. And then after that, maybe, maybe we'll get some momentum. I mean, look at the passing. It's just woeful right now. This is a little bit better, though. There's a little bit of a momentum shift here. Dinya, good pass. Sa inside towards Hamez. Lays it inside. Luigi got to be a goal side, man. Wrong side of his man completely. And now there's a huge gaping hole through the middle. We may even have to put Kulisevsky through the middle at this point. I'm still believing in Luigi, folks. I still have belief. And something's going to happen for him. Andre Gomez. Now's the ball. There's the ball. Luigi! Yes! Come on, I'm off. I'm off. <laughs> I told you. I didn't have to run off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, it, I mean, credit. What can you say? The goalkeeping, maybe maybe should have done better I don't care Luigi has scored his first goal of the season oh, and then it was the ball from Andre and you thought is he going to get this down he just smashes it near post left footed by the way I used to have a good left foot myself oh, I'll tell you what that's, that's a bit of a relief there great vision great ball uh, let's have a look at the goalkeeping here it comes off his face and yeah maybe bad goalkeeping I don't care I don't care Luigi's in there. Andre Gomez. I was just trying to switch that, but it's been a bit of a disaster, hasn't it? Here is Ball. It's a good challenge. Now we've got a lot of players up front. Luigi, keep going. There's the ball. Come on, Luigi. He's through on goal. Can he do it? No, he can't. I, I, I knew he wouldn't. It was a... I, I hate those ones where you, you, you're straight on with the goal because... You can't really wrap your foot around it, but this is better. This is why we've got Hammers in there to pull those kinds of passes, and it can't have been far away. Well, it has been a better second half, that's for sure. We still need to keep this going, because it's still only 1-1, remember. Here is Chair. Cameron. Someone close him down. Carroll. Don't let him strike it. Oh, we are lucky there. And defensively, we're looking vulnerable. We are looking very, very vulnerable. Maybe we missed Mina. We could do, but I mean, look, this is just poor defending. Who's marking it? Mark up, boys. Well, final two changes. It's attacking. Richarlison on and Vila. Come on, lads. Vila. Flicked on. Oh, I've lost it again, boys. Cameron. Dinya's missed it. The ball's gone round the other way, and that's comfortable for Olsen. We're just going to hoof this one forward. No hanging about. Anything can happen at this stage of the game. Oh, well done, Barrios. Fantastic play. Kulisevsky now. Richarlison. Kulisevsky, go away. Run away from him. Richarlison. Well, no one wants to close him down. Oh, the keeper's made the save. Sebastian Vales looking for... <sighs> Man, West, I mean, QPR have... They've, they've gone for it now, haven't they? They really have. Well done, Dinya. Sticks the foot in. Four minutes to play in, in a match has just been mental. It really has been. Come on, Richarlison. You've got the freshest legs, son. Ah, that's too much. You guys are probably watching me and thinking, what is he doing? Honestly, guys, I don't even know. Don't even know what is going on in this game. It's been crazy. And there's not much time left. 
Dinya. Well, Luigi's on his own. What kind of a ball was that? James. Via. Luigi. Oh, Richarlison. <sighs> Close. This is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. This match has just gone on and on and on. We should not even be in this situation right now. We really shouldn't. Should not be one all in the 90th minute. Well, it's Tata to take. Drills it up the line. Looking for no one. As uh, the ball is fired off. And that's full time. Which means, I believe, we are going to go into extra time. Hmm, this is mad. So, extra time, folks. Who would have thought this was going to happen? Oh, these matches just go on and on and on. But it has been such an open affair. Now, Sebastian Vier looking to cut inside. No one closes him down. Oh, the finish, the finish, the finish. So, a chance for the corner. Honestly, guys, this is how this half is going to go now. Because QPR are tired. We're tired. The game is so stretched, so open. I would expect more chances from us question is can we put them away cleared away Barrios get it down Hamez terrible pass Hamez what are you thinking there of course we can still concede oh, Hamez wrong way wrong way here is Cameron oh dear we've got a problem here we have got a slight issue um, okay that's fortunate that's very fortunate he decided to play a long ball towards Tar instead of going the other way Although saying that, they still have it. Well done, Barrios. Good play by him. He's had a decent game, to be fair. Luigi, get moving. Stop standing there when you... I know I, I still have a substitution I can make, but I've got the Inter Milan game coming up. I don't want to have to bring on players I don't want to bring on, especially in a match like this. We should be winning this comfortably, and it's not even a foul. Well, we are a long way out. I mean last chance of the half really isn't it it's almost like you have a go from here and you see what you can do so we are going to have a go with Hammers. oh my goodness I mean it couldn't have been further in the corner it's an absolute peach and somehow the goalie's got his hand on that baffling well chance for the corner it's going to have to be a good ball in it is the big man of Tar comes back towards it lays it off it's Kulosevsky. Ah. So we've made a change. Simple as that. Luigi is off. And on comes uh, David. David is going to be pushing in the middle. Kulosevsky is going to go back out wide now. Oh, this is just a ridiculous game. I mean, the, ner the nerves are jangling, folks. I, I can't afford to go out here of the FA Cup. Where's the marking? Oh, my goodness me. Everyone missed it. And then, well, the AI had a brain fart, luckily. Now, Sebastian Veyer, it's not a bad idea because Richarlison might as well go. And the goalie's come out. And Kulosevsky, there's no one in goal. And that's dreadful. All right, come on, lads. The time is not on our side. And we all know what happens if we go to penalties. We ain't going to win it. It's as simple as that. It's not going to happen on penalties. That's good play. Tries to swing it around the other way. Aaron's with a good header. Come on, Richarlison. You need to get there first. Well done, Keane. Feed out the line, David. Richarlison, Klesevsky, back to Richarlison. David's in. Come on, David. <sighs> couldn't, he couldn't push off the player. He just couldn't. I was just about to do the old dinkity dink. And it didn't quite happen. Oh, my. <sighs> We're still going, folks. Barrios. James. And we'll take that, we'll take it. If there's a chance for us to score today, this is it from a free kick. I don't know how you're not going to give me yellow for that ref, but as inconsistent as ever. But this is pretty much it now. This has to go in. It has to. Well, it's going to be Hammers. It's, I mean, the, the walls... There's a small little guy right there. Pray, folks. Pray. Pray and pray. Can we do it? It is going to be Hammers! Oh, thank the Lord. Luckily, the goalie is not the best. Oh, this is madness. I mean, this is why this Master League is all over the shop, because anything can happen. 
and we finally score a second goal and it's come from the set piece am I happy about it no because I wanted to score from open play but I don't care you put it right over the little fella and it will do nicely it's been it's like Man United leads attack attack no defense Tar get it out great header I mean that's one thing I'm happy about having now someone like Tar in there who's just going to win every single header Kulisevsky well done Richarlison Sebastian Veja wants it lovely football oh that's a great save probably could have took a touch to seal the deal but the goalie did well there so Everton to take the corner and uh, it looks like they may just try and hold this I'm not I'm not I'm just I'm doing the cheap tactic here keep this ball in the corner I cannot afford to uh, concede another goal Hammers just playing with it I don't care keep the ball Aaron's lovely feet and that'll do waste some time blow the whistle ref thank you very much oh, I, I said in the last episode didn't I how ridiculous the ending was and we've just done a match that's lasted about 40 minutes <laughs> it's bonkers but Luigi scored folks and we advance into the next round that's all I care about so there we have it 11 attempts to four he had a terrible start but we did get back into it QPR you could tell that they were getting sort of complacent at times and tired a man of the match was the Colombian so the other results let's have a look at uh, if there's any upsets Man City did win Brighton beat Newcastle Wolves beat West Brom Chelsea beat Norwich Norwich Nottingham Forest uh, Aston Villa beat Watford okay Leeds beat Bournemouth Liverpool beat Blackburn Tottenham beat Preston Sheffield beat Crystal Palace Fulham beat Norwich United beat Stoke Leicester out lost to Huddersfield Town oh dear West Ham beat Brentford Burnley beat Southampton which is technically an upset because Burnley are in the championship now and Arsenal beating Derby so that means we face Aston Villa in the next round and then after that in the quarterfinals we could face Liverpool mm, fantastic so yeah we'll have to keep plowing forward anyway we will return folks against Inter I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode I mean it was mental wasn't it Ugh, crazy crazy but we, we need to click into gear because been off the pace there off the pace with some of the passing we've been a little bit off completely and uh, we are have some more squad rotation stuff going on here uh, you bagged the win in your last match without being at full strength how important was Kulisevsky's performance well let's have a look here key to victory showed that has depth our teamwork won us the game there we go it showed we have great depth he rose to the occasion made me happy we had a doner kebab together and uh, everything was brilliant so there you go anyway ladies and gentlemen there it is we shall return champions league action is about to take place in the next episode though so tune in for the next one so until next time can't get me words out i'm knackered i need a nap but until next time take care